Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel once again. For today's makeup look, I filmed this eye look. I did a glitter cut crease and I am really, really loving this eye look that I did for you guys. Um, I really wasn't sure where I was going at first, but then I knew I really wanted to incorporate glitter. So I was like, okay, um, and then this is what I came up with. So I really, really hope you guys enjoy these type of random looks that I came come up with um if you guys do please don't forget to like and subscribe like always um, yeah if you're not yet subscribed don't forget to hit that subscribe button um so you don't miss any of my future videos um but yeah if you guys would like to know how i got this look then of course just keep on watching for eyeshadows today i'm going to be going in with the morphe and kathleen lights palettes i'm taking just the white color in the palette and i'm just using this to um set my eyelids because i already primed them next i'm going to go in with a light brown um on with with a fluffy brush, I'm going to use this as my uh, transition color so it's going to go into my crease. And I'm going to make sure that I blend it out very nicely so that it doesn't look super harsh on there. And then next I went in with like the pink mauve color and I switched brush. It's like a smaller, fluffier brush. Um, and as you guys can see, I'm focusing this on the crease and I'm um, bringing it out once I get to the outer corner. I'm not like taking it into my actual outer part. I'm like uh, winging it out. Um, and then as you guys can see, I'm going to go back in with, or going to pick up the color next to that one, which is just like a more uh, deeper mauve color. And with the same brush, doing the exact same thing, I'm just focusing that into my crease and wing winging it out. And then as you guys can see, I do turn my brush so that it can blend out upward, um, just so it doesn't look super, super harsh. But then we will be going in later on and blending everything out. But just make sure you focus this mainly in your crease and then just bring it out once you get to the outer part of the eye. Next, I took this small angled brush with the black eyeshadow. And I'm drawing a line right where my crease is, um, just so I can really outline my crease. And then going back in with a deeper mauve color, I'm going to just take it over that black line that I applied, just so I can blend it out and it doesn't look super, super harsh on the crease. So now I'm just going to take some concealer on a small brush and I'm just going to go ahead and clean up my whole eyelid. Um, I guess you can see I'm cutting the crease. Um, this really, really just helps make the look come together, you guys. Like cleaning up the crease or like the eyelid really like, I don't know, it just makes the eye look just make it more nice and clean. I really, really like um, cleaning up my eyelid when I do like eyeshadow looks because it just makes my eyeshadow look so much better you guys um but to set the concealer i'm using the same white eyeshadow that i started off with um, and i'm just gonna go ahead and apply that just where i applied the concealer next i'm taking the nyx glitter primer and the nyx glitter i believe it's in the shade crystal or something like that and then with the nyx glitter primer i'm taking it on a small brush and i'm going to apply that on my crease and then I'm taking the glitter and applying it right where I apply the NYX Glitter Primer. So I'm taking the same brush that I used to apply the mauve color and with whatever product was left on it i'm just taking it and blending out any harsh lines that i have moving on to eyeliner i'm taking my maybelline eye pseudo gel liner and like always just creating my usual winged eyeliner like always you guys i have a tutorial an in-depth tutorial of a winged eyeliner tutorial if you guys would like to check that out since right here i really don't explain to you guys or anything like that and then i like to clean it up with concealer just so that my wing gets really nice and sharp And then applying some mascara to my lashes. This is the L'Oreal Feline Mascara. This has become quickly one of my favorites. It's really, really nice. And then um, to apply my falsies, I'm taking the Kiss Lashes. And these are in the style Poise. I think that's what they're called. Poise or Posse. Something like that. <laughs> but they're really natural lashes. They're not dramatic at all. And then I'm applying some eyeliner on into my waterline. This is the Maybelline Precise Skinny Eyeliner. And then for the lower lash line, I just took the deeper mauve color and the lighter one and I mixed those together and I'm just blending that into my lower lash line. 
And then I'm going to be also applying some mascara to my bottom lashes. I'm just using the same one that I used onto my top lashes. And then I'm going to take this shimmery white color from the palette. And I'm using this as my inner corner highlight. And then I'll also be using it as my brow highlight. So now lastly for the lips, I'm taking this Kylie Cosmetics lip liner. This is in the shade or in the color Ginger. And then over top of that, I'm taking the ColourPop Ultra Glossy Lip um, in Aquarius. This has seriously been one of my favorite combos at the moment. But after that, you guys, this completes this look. I really, really hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you everyone so much for watching and your constant support. I really appreciate it. Don't forget to like and subscribe before you leave. And until next time, I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Bye. See this highlight? Oh my gosh, I'm freaking loving it.